Jobs bloodbath. That's what the latest employment statistics reveal. Now, Stats SA says the unemployment rate in the second quarter of 2019 increased by 1.4 percentage points to 29%. It means the total unemployed people has increased by more than 450,000 to around 6.7 million. Just under 21,000 people gained employment. Well, the economist and uh, economic analyst, I should say, Mawodi Linzwane joins us uh, in studio now to discuss this. Mr. Linzwane, thank you very much for Thanks. joining us. My question to you, 6.7 million people officially out of jobs. What has happened to the 290 billion rand pledge that was made at the investment conference by the president? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good question you, you're asking, uh, Colleen. And, um, I guess a lot of this thing, um, and this is what we discussed last year um, when those pledges were being made uh, to say, you know, we've got to be very careful about, you know, we need to distinguish between the pledges and, and actual money being invested um, into some of those projects. So a number of those projects um, or those pledges are not um, already being implemented and I think it will only be some time until those projects are implemented uh, but as we sit, we sit uh, with the very few uh, projects that, that are in implementation phase and therefore that's why you've still got the numbers um, as dismal as, as the numbers that, that, that we continue to see. And I suspect that these projects won't happen until we get investment coming in, until we get the... Most Definitely. Th those foreign funds, and, yeah. and why would they come in when they see what's happening at the moment? I mean, I was going to say exactly the same thing, to say, look, we've got, we got through the first phase, which is, you know, have the, the regime change, we've got new administration, um, and, and I think there was this hope, massive hope that uh, things are going to turn around. And I think if you look at um, the events of the past couple of months, you would, will be worried as an investor thinking, you know, is South Africa the best destination place uh, for investments? And I think there will be, uh, you know, justification to, to really question uh, whether, you know, money should be coming through. I mean, when you look at, especially when you look at some of the, the issues that we are dealing with, if it was the ruling party versus the oppositions, I would understand. It worries you when is the ruling party itself when you've got the mixed messages within the same party and I think that's uh, where the investors are sitting and say something is is not right when on issues of policy for example when we can't even have a cohesion uh, around the Reserve Bank for example within the same party that's where uh, people start saying there is something wrong the infighting is not going to help and it's quite interesting that you bring up uh, the ruling party because the ANC would have us believe that there's unity inside the governing party, particularly at uh, the uh, decision-making structure, the NEC, that just met this weekend. When you think that the economy should have taken center stage in that meeting, then they come out to tell us that uh, uh, they're going to be nationalizing the Reserve Bank. What does that do for exactly. investors? I mean, it, it, it puts them off. And one of the questions is, when you are in a crisis like we are, you need to prioritize. My question is, is nationalization of the Reserve Bank a priority when you've got a crisis of unemployment? What, would, what benefits would it bring to your immediate challenges? So you've got to um, ensure that you prioritize on these things. Your challenges are high unemployment, the fact that we're not creating jobs. You haven't created jobs in the past 10 years, and, and, and that should be a concern. And to go and then look for issues that are not really going to help you but all they're going to do is to make sure that your situation gets worse because the, one of the most effective, and I've said this before, the most effective ways to stimulate your economy is to bring confidence into your economy. It's cheap. You don't have to spend a rent for it. You can just boost the economic confidence, um, business confidence, and you will get money uh, coming in you, to address some of your challenges. You don't, you don't have yeah, to You've got to have in. a bit of unity first, though, don't you? I mean, the Absolutely. only thing that's growing at the moment is the informal sector. That's that's not good enough. Why yeah. would anyone invest in this country? I mean, is there light somewhere? Is there something other than the informal sector that is attracting people to, to invest here and, and give South Africans confidence? I mean, because they're leaving the country in their thousands. Yeah, so I think, you know, again, going back to what happened uh, last year, we had the new administration coming through. And I think, you know, one has to say prior to that, we were heading in 
in a very bad uh, direction. We, we were heading for a disaster, I think, to say the least. And I think that somehow the new administration came through and a number of things have been done. For, for example, some of the you know, uh, things that they've done within the state-owned enterprises, they've, they've really uh, worked, but they've also faced some new challenges. Um, and one wonders whether they'll be able to actually get us to the next level where we can actually now have these uh, SOEs uh, going back to being run properly, self-sufficient, self-sustaining. And, 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 and I think that, that, that's very important because to have 59 billion or there's billions of rands being poured back into the SOEs, this is money that could be injected into building the economy and ensuring that we boost the, you know, we support the SMME, for example. Imagine if 60 billion was to be invested to support the SMMEs. Mm. That would be excellent. But that money is going into supporting ESCOM. Here's a question for me. Where or what has happened to the Tumamina mantra? The president really inspired the nation with that message. Yep. But the question is, where are people right now in as far as that Tumamina message? Particularly worrying, I think, for President Ramaphosa is when an alliance partner like Kosato is going to come out and say, we think that the president is failing young people yep. in this country because they are the ones uh, that are in the majority unemployed. Yep. As I said, going back to the issue we raised, cohesion, when you look on the streets of Pretoria, people are asking for 18%, the very same unions, asking for 18% wage increases. When inflation is at 4.5%, you ask yourself, where is, where, where, is, where is this working together to ensure that we really bring this economy out of the mess that we find ourselves in? Asking for 18%, where is that money going to come from? It's a mess. Thank you very much, Mawodi Lenzwane, an economist talking to us here about the worrying unemployment crisis in the country.